Hello everyone and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today we have had the biggest quake of the year so far. A m astounding 7.8 to strike 99 kilometers south southeast of Perryville, Alaska. Um, 119 fell reports so far. Not surprised there wasn't a lot because you know it's in the water. Fell reports beyond Anchorage all the way up to whatever city that is, Nikolai. In this city, Bethel. It's insane. That's far too. Holy cow. Wow. So yeah, not many suspected fatalities, thankfully. Because you know this um this thing was in the water. Holy cow, that's a huge quake. Okay. So let's pull this up on Google Earth and see how far the quake was from our seismometers. Yeah, also, this occurred on the convergent plate boundary between the North American and the Pacific, so, yeah. Same subduction zone that had the 9.2 in 1964. So, yeah, let's see how far this was from our seismometers. Here, first, let's see how far this was from the nearest land. This is 32 miles from this island, and 58 miles from... Like the mainland. Alright. There goes the globe. Here, let me close that. Oh. Oops. Okay. Turn off the plate boundaries. 2,000. Almost 2,500 miles. So yeah, that's pretty far. But we still got great readings on our um, Infiltech. So yeah, here you can see the P wave. Well, I think this is the P wave. And our seismometer here in Menifee. Then here in Santa Barbara, then here in Mammoth. And then the surface wave starts to hit, which doesn't appear too big on ours because we don't have a vertical seismometer. VHS means vertical seismometer. But then on in Mammoth and Santa Barbara, where they both have vertical seismometers, the surface wave, it looks huge. And then it keeps on going. Keeps on going. Huge for a while. And then here. No, not Mammoth sources. Oops. X file setting. Here, let's make this small. And it's still going. It's still going off the charts in Mammoth, and it's still almost going off the charts here in Menifee too, which I think is just insane. Here, give me a second. Let me put it back to. Ha Actually, no. Let me keep it here. So yeah, off the charts in Santa Barbara, off the charts in Mammoth, almost off the charts here in Menifee still, and the quick happened quite a while ago almost an hour ago actually wait here let me check my phone because this is where i found out about the quake it happened more than an hour ago holy cow oh yeah also they've had multiple aftershocks so yeah 7.8 was the main shock and then afterwards you're sorry i have a bunch of alerts on my phone they had a 5.2 after this is on my phone so it's not from the usgs they had a 5.2 aftershock a 4.8 a 4.6 and no other one so far that i've seen so yeah that's that from the infotech and here on the raspberry shake not too big of readings because you know even though the quake was huge it was still pretty far away so nothing too big but still pretty large readings for quake super far away so it gets up to 150,000 counts and negative below negative 2,000 counts and then spectrogram gets super red here again signifies strong shaking it goes on for a while spread out jolts because the quake is far away fades out picks up a little bit here I think that was the surface wave you can see it gets kind of dark there on the spectrogram and it fades out no, sorry, no, this was the surface wave. Sorry, this was the Rayleigh wave, I'm pretty sure. And then this, you can see here, very spread out jolts. That's the surface wave. The more spread out, I'm thinking that the more spread out the jolts are, the lower it appears on the spectrogram. So yeah, super low, but actually super strong shaking. And then it starts to fade out. And it picks up occasionally. Like, here. It picks up a little bit there, a little bit there. It's still going. You can see the up and down motion. Up, down, up, down. 
up, down, up, down, up, down. So yeah, it's still kind of going on, but like obviously it's not feelable either. It's feelable right now. Here. Oh shoot, I haven't checked this yet. Um, wait. Mostly no new movies. I've checked this before for like the the 7.0s in New Zealand. Oh shoot, they're actually going off. Where's that one? Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that's actually... Holy crap, that's actually like an earthquake wave. Oh my gosh, and they're going off everywhere. They're going off by Japan. Northern coast of California. Oh my gosh. It's, it's an actual tsunami. Here. Tsunami.gov Tsunami warning. Oh gosh. That's not good. So yeah, tsunami warning for the peninsula of Alaska and the name of this island, Kodiak Island. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And also wind here where Anchorage is. Yikes. Advisory here in Prince William Sound. And Holy cow, I actually was not expecting this, because the 7.7 .7 in Jamaica, similar sized quake, didn't produce anything. Holy cow, this is an actual... I think it's a pretty small tsunami though, because it's... If we go back to the buoys... No. Tsunami buoy. Because this one, because the quake happened right here, and the closest one is the one where they f saw the strongest jolt, but like other ones like this, not so strong, just little things like that. Little jolts like that. And how about here in California, anything big? Doubt it. Still something noticeable, I guess. It's barely there, though. So I hope that's a localized tsunami, only gets around this area. I'm sure hoping it is. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. Hoping Alaska doesn't take too much damage. <laughs> um, yeah, biggest quick of the year. And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys again in the next video.